Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to watch uh, 3D movies on any uh, any phone, any iPad, or iPod, or any, any portable device. So let's get started. So for this you're going to need um, three things. Uh, obviously you're going to need your 3D movie file and you're going to need this player, a software called uh, KM Player. And you're gonna need a screen recording software. I'm using um, a shampoo snap snap six, but there are um, a lot of free and paid softwares and like such as Camtasia. Uh, I'll put um, I'll put links in the description box so you can go and check them out. So first, what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna open this 3D movie with KM Player. Um, um, on second thought, I'll show you what the movie looks like on VLC. So this is what a 3D movie should look like. It has two screens. So what Kane Player does is it puts those uh, two two screens together and gives us uh, a 3D um, output, which we can enjoy. So what you want to do is you're gonna open up Kane Player. And you're gonna go right click, open file. Then you're gonna search for the 3D movies. So I'm playing Oz, the Great and Powerful. So yeah, it should play like this. So what you wanna do is you wanna go and hit this 3D button that's on the bottom uh, left left side, and it should turn it like this. And you're gonna go right click this middle screen right here, and go to 3D uh, con uh, screen controls. Now on default it should be on the BIOS or it doesn't matter if it's on any other. Just set it to red and cyan color and there you go that's much better. Now you can actually watch this um, 3D movie on your on your computer. I just um, put it on your red and cyan 3D glasses and you can enjoy the movie. So how are we gonna play this on your um, on your on your portable devices or your phone? Is we're gonna screen record this video, including the audio of the movie, and simply put that um, video file on your phone and just play it. And you can put it on your 3D glasses and you can watch it on your phone. Now um, the reason we have to do all this is because they have not developed an, an application for um, portable devices such as um, KM players. So in the future, there will there will definitely be apps that can play 3D movies like this. But for now, um, this is the fastest way you could do it. So what you want to do is you're gonna make this um, game play full screen. Now there are hotkeys, but I just like going Control Enter. There you go. It's gonna um, put it in full screen. So what you want to do is you're gonna record that full screen with with the audio of um, of of this movie. So I'm just gonna open up this thing. Uh, uh, now, um, every all of these um, screen recorders, they have the same options. You can um, you can uh, tell it to record a specific area. I'm gonna do the whole desktop, which uh, records this whole um, whole full screen, and the audio. Now, at the moment, it's recording the microphone. You do not want it um, to do that. You want it to record the sound of the movie, not what not the surrounding area of me or you talking. Just the um, audio of the um, of the movie. So you're gonna set it to the other one. Um, you sound not not the microphone and uh, full screen. Now uh, make sure that it's in um, as best as you can. Don't put it to low resolutions. You get um, a bad quality. And um, I'm I'm pretty sure that your um, screen recorder will have a different outlook, but it it should have all the same settings. Um, trust me. So what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna go start and it should be uh, recording now so you're gonna uh, go to the start of um, the beginning of the movie and play it and set it to full screen so um, this is the this is the part that sucks so you're gonna um, leave this movie playing for um, until it finishes uh, then you're gonna quit out of it then you're gonna stop um, your screen recorder it should be uh, recording now, so you're gonna. Uh, there you go. <laughs> it was. Uh, I was playing my video. So, yeah, you're gonna save that file. Save it like that, 
can it should have been saved in uh, let's see oh here it is so uh, this is the video that we uh, yeah we just screen recorded so as you can see it did uh, record uh, part of um, the whole screen including the desktop so we don't want that so if you have a video editor or something just um, delete delete this part um, of the of the screen recording and just go to the part where we actually make the um, video full screen and start it so uh, that's it you guys so we did all that just to make this movie into red and cyan a normal um vlc video so now what you want to do is uh simply sync that video into your phone if you have an iphone just sync it in i'm um, using itunes or android just copy it to you um from my computer now keep in mind that you have to uh if you want to watch the whole movie you're gonna have to screen record the whole movie including the audio of that movie so when the uh, screen recorder comes to render that in the end, it, depending on how long the movie is, it might take some time for it to make the movie file. So uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like on my on my phone. Okay, so uh, I synced the the screen recorded video of Oz into my phone, so I'll show you what it should look like. Let me just turn this on. Da -da. Here we go. Play it. Okay, so here it is. It's playing the um, Oz movie. So uh, I do apologize for this bad quality, you guys. I'm playing, I'm screen recording this video from my face cam. But if you can or cannot see, this is uh, this is the Red and Sign version. So all you need is your um, a pair of Red and Sign 3D glasses. Uh, guys, this this does not work with the the Cinema 3D or the Shutter 3D ones. Just the normal Red and Sign. So just uh, put these glasses on and uh, enjoy the movie, you guys. Now I I do understand that this was kind of an intermediate tutorial. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the, in the comment section. I'll answer them ASAP. And um, like and subscribe. And thank you for watching, you guys.